My name's Ed Druitt and uh, I'm here representing the British Ornithology today. Over here we've got Alex and Steve and we're doing bird ringing. And what we've got here are some long, what we call mist nets up through some particular rides here at Arnas Vale. And the mist nets are um, very fine netting so that the birds, when they fly into the netting, get caught up uh, and then we uh, safely remove the birds out, put them into a special cotton bag, bring them back to the table here to actually then ring the birds. And when I say ring, I don't mean sort of ring the necks, I mean actually putting a special identification ring on the leg of the bird, so that if they get found at a later date, we can find out how old the bird is, where it's travelled to, and a whole variety of other things. So then we want to age it, so what we can do is we can look at the, um, on a great tip for example, you can look at the colour of the wing feathers. So for example, you can look at the colour of these, these wing coverts here. And if they're an adult bird, and I'll great tip, they tend to be very blue-grey colour. And then we measure their wings, because this can give you a nice range of the different size of the birds. And, and when you're looking at migration, particularly in other countries like Sweden and France, it can often tell you about different populations of birds that you've got coming through. Um, because longer distant birds will have longer wings, for example. So we've been ringing here for a few hours so far. We've caught over 20 birds, including great tits, blue tits, robins, wrens, dunnocks, um, a couple of blackbirds, and hopefully, we've still got another hour left or so, we might catch a few other birds as well. And the idea of this really is it's an opportunity to really just see the birds up close, but also by putting the rings on, it enables us to find out a little bit more about how these birds are faring at kind of longer term.